Life Sketch by Alexander Rishkin. There is one way of drawing in which two-dimensional shapes in drawing represent three-dimensional masses and volumes. Every line in such a sketch describes anatomical features of the figure. I'm applying stronger pressure on the drawing chalk in places where two forms intersect each other. Such sequential depiction of volumes is a more difficult way of drawing and requires more time and attention. I have to keep in mind the overall proportion of the whole figure so it will be proportionate and balanced on this sheet of paper. Such an approach is good for an artist who already has strong drawing skills and can judge future sizes well. The torso consists of many masses, but at the same time it is one combined volume. So I draw it as one object, building its united shape. Every individual volume is a complete unit that has all lines curving inward, encompassing the shape. The directions of muscles' contours point to places of their origin and insertion. Every muscle has a convex shape. Any concave place you see here is just an area between two different muscles. If your life drawing skills are not yet well developed, I would suggest starting figure sketching by marking the overall proportion of the whole figure first. This way, you can make sure the drawing will come out well balanced and will fit the paper size as you plan it. Building volumes innately gives some tonal values to shapes in drawing. Tones here are just a subproduct, they are not purposely drawn. Although the chair and the platform are secondary, Giving some support to the figure anchors it to the ground, 